My daughter was born May 4th, 2006 in Guelph. And she came home from the hospital the day she was born, perfectly he healthy, very happy little girl, uh, full-term pregnancy, and we were just totally happy and relieved, all 10 fingers and 10 toes. Kayla was diagnosed with a genetic disease, galactosemia. Before diagnosis, it can be incredibly serious, and most babies don't live past 10 days. We were transferred down here, I believe it was the ninth day of her life, and when we came here, we didn't know what was wrong with her. We had no idea she had been healthy, and, and the doctors were totally confused. In the, over the next 15 days, they probably ran about 2,000 tests before they were finally able to come up with the diagnosis. Because this family is from Guelph, they needed a place to stay while their daughter was in hospital, and a hotel was not their answer. I remember standing in the lobby, waiting while we were checking in, and just, just starting to cry and then felt so awkward. Nobody there understood why we were there. They didn't know our daughter was in the hospital, sick, maybe dying. At that time, we weren't in the best financial situation. We couldn't really afford to stay in a hotel for several weeks. We had no idea how long it would be. It was an unknown illness, so we had no idea if it was going to be weeks, months. If we didn't have Ronald McDonald House then, we would, have, we would have been staying in Guelph, driving the hour here every day, and we would have lost out on so many of those opportunities that we had to spend with our daughter. Um, there were nights when I'd get up in the middle of the night and just walk over to the hospital to see my little girl, just to hold her hand. Families that stay at the Ronald McDonald House build their own communities within, because they are all going through similar struggles. We're happy to report right now she's been developing excellently. Um, she's growing like a little weed and always smiling, very happy little girl. We're part of their, uh, their family of friends program here. Um, it's a monthly giving program that my wife and I have chosen. Because we're in a position where we can help, um, we help them out every month and that helps them plan their day-to-day -day budget. It would mean so much to me to be able to have my name listed on one of those rooms someday. And that would be my way of, of thanking those organizations for what they've done by being able to help in the same way that they have. Keeping the lights on, that's a phrase I've heard around here. It's literal. Um, keeping the lights on, paying the bills every month requires ongoing support. It's almost like they need more rooms here because this house is always full. There's always families that are in need. And keeping the lights on here, it's, it's the most important thing. And that really takes a commitment from individuals, from families, from every, every organization, everybody. They, they need help here. We're also so grateful for those that do.